the long-term effects of it are unknown. Okay, there are people who are being called long haulers. These are people who have had the, the virus or they got sick with the virus four months ago, five months ago, early on. They're still sick. And, um, and we're seeing the effects of, of pa patients getting uh, multi-systemic um, infections or multi-systemic symptoms, I'm sorry, and, um, and these patients developing very early signs of what we call ME-CFS, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. And so um, I think that uh, until we understand more, so number one, I want to educate doctors and patients to understand that this long-term effect, and if we can intervene early and we can prevent the spread early, we're going to prevent the long-term uh, uh, damage. If we can't prevent it, then figure let's figure out how to treat the long-term damage. Um, and if we're going to do all this, right, um, thinking about our kids is going to be, you know, uh, of utmost importance. So, um, it's a it's a messy question, and I don't have the answers of how to how to do this. You know, I think what we're doing now is not perfect in, in many parts of the country. So, um, but I do, you know, again, my my biggest concern is the long term effects. Um, I see this in Lyme disease. I see this in other viruses. COVID nineteen is starting to act very similarly. And these are people who are. I'll say relatively healthy, although I suspect that they had underlying immune problems to begin with. And then now their lives are never going to be the same.